We are following the latest developments on a wildfire in Northern California. Authorities have arrested Damon Pashuk. He's accused of starting the destructive fire. Officials have charged the 40-year-old with 17 counts of arson. He may be linked to other fires in the state as well. The wildfire has destroyed more than 175 homes and left dozens of families homeless. Crowds cheered during a news conference when authorities announced the arrest. It is my pleasure to announce the arrest of Damon Anthony Pashilk, age 40, of Clear Lake. Maria Villarreal is in Lower Lake, California, just north of San Francisco. Uh, Maria, what have we learned about the arson suspect? Any word on a motive? Why would someone do something like this? You know, unfortunately, law enforcement officials are staying pretty tight-lipped about any sort of motive or even how they were able to get to Damon Paschalk. Uh, but what is interesting about him is he literally lives uh, about a mile or two away from where this fire ripped through the area. So he doesn't live far from Lower Lake. So that's one interesting point. Another interesting point is the fact that right now he's being held on over a $5 million bond. Now, that could change. He, has, he does have an arraignment set for tomorrow. Um, and we will get to know more about some of the other fires that he's accused of setting. But uh, really interesting that he is a local guy here. Maria, what's the latest on the containment efforts? It seems that the fire may still be threatening some homes and communities. You know, overnight, we still were getting word that it was still at 5% containment. But I will tell you, usually around this time, 6 a.m. Pacific, we usually have uh, a lot of law enforcement officials, fire officials that will go out. They'll start to survey the area. And we should get some updated containment numbers uh, probably in the next few hours. Uh, right now, as far as any of the communities that were a concern and evacuated yesterday, the last few days, um, the good news is, is the fire has definitely moved away from these parts. Uh, we are expecting that some of the homeowners might get into their homes later today, but those are probably going to be the homeowners that had a lot of smoke damage, for example, not the homeowners that are living in places like you see behind me. We've uh, seen some of the devastation. We're looking at pictures right now uh, showing the aftermath. What is being done for the families that need help? You know, uh, right now we're probably going to see a lot of Red Cross efforts, a lot of local efforts, people coming in, donating water and food as needed. But as far as any sort of monetary help or uh, anything like that, you know, we usually wait until the governor declares this a state of emergency for the local area in order for them to get more state funding help. So that probably won't take more than a few days if that's the direction that the state is going. Uh, but that's really where we're going to see a lot of help. Unfortunately, uh, talking to a lot of these homeowners, they don't have insurance for these types of situations. So they're really going to rely on that government help at this point. All right, Maria Villarreal on the ground reporting for us. Maria, thank you.